So in the previous video, we made this uh, PNG file of this sunflower with a transparent background. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to file open and I have this background of a desert here. So this image of a desert. Uh, the link to this again will be in the description so you can download it yourself for this along with the uh, original sunflower. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to file and open as a layer. I'm going to choose that PNG of that sunflower I originally have. I'm going to import it. You're going to see I have that transparent background, so it overlays. Now, we can see here on the right side, I'm stacking it. So my bottom is the desert. The top is the sunflower. If I'd switch those, you wouldn't be able to see the sunflower because it's underneath that sheet of paper of a desert. Uh, so if I layer it back on top, we can see that. Now, obviously, this is way too large for our environment, so I'm going to click my scale. I can drag this uh, and scale it. I can also uh, select my move tool. I can grab that sunflower and move it anywhere I want. Now, again, I should have spent a little more time because you can see that sky in the background there, but for this example, it works. I mean, again, I can scale it down. scale this down a little bit further and remember if I don't like the size I would want to control Z my scale and not just uh, make it larger because I don't want to lose those pixels so again we can see now um, that I would have my image here now I'm going to open up as a layer that original sunflower so I'm going to scale this down really quick and then come up here and move it. So what you're going to see is when I have that JPEG with that original image, or even if I had the one that I created with a white image, we would have that image there. So it doesn't look like it naturally belongs in the image when we layer things. Uh, so I'm going to get rid of that import here and delete that off. Back up to select. And, uh, delete it off here. Delete layer that I added. And again, I could open this up and open up this layer, bring in another one of those PNGs or as many other files that I would want to bring in that I've created as my uh, uh, PNGs with the transparent background and I could stack them here. If I wanted to make a grouping, let's say the big one in behind the small one where I can see that we can again just play with our layers here. Now when I'm done with this I can go file save as and this would be a project file that I could work as meaning an XCF file that I could continue working on but if I'm happy with this I would go file I would go back down to export as and I'm just going to name this desert 2. Click on my export and now you're going to notice I'm going to open the same file that I just created, my Desert 2. And you're going to see that that file uh, has merged those layers all together into one image. So this is something that you can do is you can create multiple PNG files with transparent backgrounds and layer them on a different background to make objects, you know, look like they don't belong. Or, you know, you could put yourself into an image that of a trip that you were on but that you didn't actually attend uh, and just have fun trying to layer pictures and kind of make this collage.